Welcome back to the American Outdoorsman. Let's rejoin your host, Mark Tobin, and special guest, Kevin Kurz, as they continue to search for big brown trout on the legendary Beaverhead River. Ooh. Oh, good one. Nice one. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. This is awesome, man. The old death roll, the brown trout death roll. If you know anything about the Lewis and Clark expeditions, these are rivers that they came up. If you want to see something fascinating, I tell you, it can't look a whole lot different now. Yeah. Nice release. A whole lot different now than it did back then. So if you want to experience something that is just breathtaking, this is the place to be. Five Rivers Lodge in Montana. Come see what Lewis and Clark did almost 200 years ago. They came up here for the fishing. <laughs> okay, let's move up a little bit further. There he is. Oh! Real, 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 fast, 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 fast. Yeah. Oh, look at him go, look at him go. Oh my gosh. Look at him. Oh, he's coming back this way. Oh, <laughs> hang on, hang on. Did you see that take off? <laughs> yeah. He was at it for that mountain up there. He's putting a herd on him. Look at that beauty. Ah, oh, he's rolled himself up. Well, about 18 inch. <laughs> you want to land? Here, you want to do it? There you go. Go ahead. Okay. That is a nice Calm fish. Calm down, dude. I'm gonna grab that lighter. Okay, fine. All right! Unbelievable! Yeah, that's a good 18. Yeah, boy, yeah! <laughs> You're doing it all. <laughs> I might have to go back to them fishing. Oh, man, this is so cool. Okay. Yeah, a bleeder like that? Uh-huh. Hold your finger on it. Really? Just for a minute. And it'll stop it. The guy in Alaska showed me that. Well, that's a great tip. They're cool. It stopped, yep. sure enough. Yep. Wanna let him go? Yep. <laughs> yeah, he's in good shape. Oh. I'm not giving you any more advice. You're <clears throat> on your own. <laughs> I tell you, inspiring to say the least. I mean, look at this scenery. It's hard to. I mean, we're casting and looking at the river, but you got to stop every now and then and look up and see the scenery around here. It is awesome. Mm -hmm. What kind of equipment should uh, people that are coming up here for the first time bring? Oh, if you only had one rod, it'd be a nine foot five weight. You know, make sure it's a travel rod so you can carry it on the airplane. And you want a, uh, you know, weight, you know, quality weight forward or double, these are double taper fly lines. Um, then, uh, most of the leaders we're using are nine foot three x or four x leaders. That's about four to five pound, like five pound at the tip. But uh, that, that'd be it. If you're bringing up two rods, maybe bring a four and a six. What about but, what about sunglasses? Oh, you must. Not <laughs> one, two pair. Why two? Well, because look how dark it is today. I'm wearing my ambers and it brightens everything up and I can see in the water a whole lot better. If it was a really, really bright day, I'd wear my darker ones like copper or brown color. There but he is, there he is. <laughs> You're reefing him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look Holy at him, Joe. Hey, little guy, but boy, he sure did fly. He can fly. At little brook, one. isn't it? Oh, it's full. <laughs> Whoop, there you go. I, I intended to do that. Anyway, talk about the importance of polarization. Well, you can't see in the water without it. The water is just a glare. Polarizing cuts through the surface glare so you can see the fish and also, uh, like we're walking here, I can see underneath the water uh -huh. if I tripped over a log or something dangerous. You know. Right. Also, you're flinging this fly back and forth right in front of your face. You want eye protection. Good for protection, right. Now let's join Five Rivers Lodge guides, Jason Newmack and Mike Agee, who have moved downriver from Mark and Kevin to fish a different stretch of the beaverhead. Here just nice enough to start out with a streamer. The Beaverhead River is well known for its abundance of large, powerful brown trout. There he Although is. native to Europe and Western Asia, the brown trout was introduced into lakes and streams in the United States 100 years ago and is now one of the most widespread fishes of the trout and salmon family. 
brown trout can live in higher water temperatures and spawn October through December. The eggs hatch the following spring. What'd you get there? Whoa! That's brown. Brown trout. <laughs> nice and tight, nice and tight. Fish that inside, inside. edge. Inside, if that indicator moves, I'm gonna set the hook. It's going there, there he is. <laughs> nice. Right off that inside edge, right close to me. Nice brown. Thanks, Jace. Slide on fish over. inside out. There's always a nice fish sitting on the Slide him over soft here to me. inside of a bend. It's a nice one. That's all right. Yeah. Let him go. 